Okay, so before I utter much else, I have to, we have to get through some formalities here. So just bear with me. Uh, we got to get this general Forex disclaimer, and, and please don't blow this off. You know, listen up. So here it is. Trading in the off-exchange retail foreign currency market is one of the riskiest forms of investment available in the financial markets and suitable for sophisticated individuals and institutions. The possibility exists that you could sustain a substantial loss of funds, and therefore you should not invest money that you cannot afford to lose. Nothing in this presentation is a recommendation to buy or sell currencies, and Raggy Horner, myself, is not liable for any loss or damage, including without limitation any loss of profit, which may arise directly or indirectly from the use of Raggy Horner, my tools, or reliance on such information. Okay, got that out of the way. We are here to talk about, specifically, the IVFX4 platform, basic operations, chart setup, order entry, and order types. Now, I took a few polls earlier. Some of you probably answered them. We had about 60% of the group answer these polls. And I just want to give you an idea of who you're here in the room with. So let's, uh, let's address these polls very quickly, and then we're going to get right into the presentation. All right. I know it's scheduled for about an hour, but I'll, I'll definitely make sure we cover all the material that we had planned to. Okay. So first, first poll was how would you describe your forex trading experience level of the of the choices a beginner, one year or more, experienced full time or demo trading actively. Uh, by far, the two most ex most uh, popular answers were 47% at beginners and 35% at one year or more. So we have, a, we have a pretty good amount of people who are just getting started and I commend you for taking the time to educate yourself. The second poll we ran was how would you best describe your current trading approach? I listed five options. Technical, which to me means more of an indicator typed approach. A chartist, which is price based reliance on support, resistance, Fibonacci, uh, pivots, chart patterns, that type of thing. That came in at 19%. Fundamental, news and database, that came in at 4%. Systems, uh, automation, EAs, expert advisors, that came in at 12%. And then I threw in one, which I think we've all been there before, disastrous, and that came in at 19%. That was actually tied for second, okay? So again, I commend those of you that, that, that were truthful enough to admit this disastrous and are here to learn more. The final poll was how familiar are you with the IBFX4 platform? And by far, the largest percentage was 59% at somewhat familiar, followed distantly by 18% at very familiar, and then 16% at not really familiar. 8% were clueless. Now, and I actually did type in Clueless. So again, everyone that's here, I want you to get an idea of who you're here with. In other words, who your fellow attendees are. Because in many ways, while I want to be able to address everybody's questions, uh, you can see that there is a dominance for a certain skill level, a certain experience level, and a certain knowledge with the platform. And, and that's really what I'm here to try to address. Let me mention that this is going to be a series of a total of five webinars. Uh, concluding with the grand finale, which I cannot wait to do, which is really going to be an immersion presentation where for about four hours we're going to get just net deep in charts and analysis and the markets and, and the prior four webinars, this being the first, will lead up into that. So if some of what we're covering now is a little basic, hang with me. Um, you can take a look at the entire list of presentations and if you haven't already, go ahead and, and choose the ones that you think will be uh, most applicable to you. Remember that you must register for each webinar that you wish to attend individually. So signing up for this first one does not automatically invite you to the next four. So please take the time to uh, check out each one of our Tuesday presentations. And just to give you an idea of what we'll be getting into, uh, next, next presentation will be Popular and Powerful Technical Indicators, followed by Understanding Price Action, Drawing Trend Lines, Using the Pattern Recognition Scanner, 
Fibonacci levels and market cycles. Following that will be ideas for trade, trending and non-trending markets. And like I said, the grand finale at the end of the month will be the four-hour special weekend edition, which I endearingly call uh, Super Saturday. So a little something for everybody. Let me just start by saying that the platform you're looking at right now, you should be able to see the video. Okay. What this platform is going to allow you to do, and what this platform really is, is imagine it like a race car. Okay, because that's really what I think it is. Now, a race car might actually be able to do things that we as the drivers are not ready to do. Okay? Its abilities might be greater than our own right now. Doesn't mean that we can't become better drivers. Okay? As a driver, I don't necessarily need to know how to tweak the suspension, how to fix the motor, how to change the transmission. If I want to get that involved, I certainly can. But driving it, for most of us, is going to be more than enough. Okay? Now, this particular race car, the IBFX4 platform, is very scalable. What I mean by that is, depending upon when you're, whether you're a beginner or whether you are just the most advanced type of uh, trader slash programmer slash, uh, you know, tinkerer, it's it, the ability to do more with the platform is there, okay? We're going to be going over some basics today. Again, this is the introduction to the trading platform. So a lot of people will skin, skim over this, but again, if we're race car drivers, we've got to know our race car, and that's what today's session really is all about. So let's go ahead and, and bring that back into the front and center. I'm going to give you an idea of what I want to discuss here today. Of course, I've got the questions window enlarged so I can see your questions if and when you have them. Let me also mention that as far as this being our first presentation, I know you might get questions later on. I know that's probably pretty likely. Okay? And if and when you do, I'm going to go ahead and just right off the bat, I'll give it again later on, but right off the bat here, let me give you my email address because for me I'll attend a presentation and no sooner do I leave than I think of that question so feel free to email me and there is my email address I believe and let me make sure it gets across to y'all let me also mention it it is ragi r-a-g-h-e-e -E, dot horner h-o-r N-E-R at IBFX.com. Again, Ragi.Horner at IBFX.com. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into this platform here. So, you know, I'm not a big PowerPoint kind of gal. Not my preferred way to communicate. I like getting right into whatever we're going to be working with. So that's why you've got the platform there in front of you. We're going to walk through some basic operations, and again, I realize that for some of you this is old hat, but for many of you, as the polls show, um, this is the kind of information you need right now. And I'll definitely keep some time for Q&A before we wrap up. So let's get through some chart setup and customization. And again, as you have questions, let me know. Go ahead and type them in. And... Just to clarify, don't forget to put the dot between Ragi and Horner. Ragi.Horner at IBFX.com. Okay. All right. So, starting off with pretty much the default view of what you'd see when you open up your platform. This is, this is the default chart. I don't think any of us really stop here, do we? But this is the way the chart's going to look when you first open up. A brand new chart. How do you first open up a brand new chart? Well, there's a couple ways, but probably the easiest is just go to File, New Chart, and pick a symbol. And you'll get that default black and green western bar chart. Okay? To change it, it's pretty simple. 